It's Jay Coffee back at it, man. And the whole blogosphere and world has been seeing the news cycle dominated over the past couple of weeks about all these heinous allegations against Diddy, Sean P. Diddy, Combs, Puff, Daddy, Brother Love, whatever you want to call him. It's been all bad for him for the past couple of weeks. And uh, he finally spoke out, putting out a statement saying enough is enough. He's going to fight to the bitter end. I'm paraphrasing. Y'all see the statement. We covered it in another video, you know, but a lot of individuals, myself included, you know, really wondered if this was disingenuous or not. When I say that, I mean, and this has come out in other stories we've covered, you know, where individuals, some have been convicted of heinous, horrible acts. You know, they weren't just allegations. They were true. They were facts, proven, convicted, you know, uh, and in some instances, other situations, they were just allegations, right? But we have seen individuals who pled guilty to horrible acts and, you know, they proceeded to always spin different narratives and justifications or some kind of I didn't really do it, essentially, is basically what they were saying. And the question I myself and a lot of other individuals always asked whenever that happened was, well, why didn't you fight it? Why would you plead guilty, you know, to, to something so just disgusting, downright disturbing, right? And I reference that in saying in this situation, did he putting out that statement saying, you know, enough is enough, He's going to fight to clear his name. I looked at that like, well, why did you settle when it came to this situation with Cassie and settle so quickly? Right. I mean, you never wanted this to hit the news and it has hit the news as we all continue to talk about this. It's all kind of to me. Let me know your feelings, you know, your your take on all this. It's kind of looked like Diddy tried to pay out the wazoo, right, to pretty much cover this situation up. But the media got wind of it and it came out to the world, you know, and uh, 50 Cent has been relentless getting that Diddy documentary uh, on the way, according to 50 Cent. I, uh, once again, I wonder what that will entail and how long it'll be until we see this documentary. I'm wondering if this is a, a, a situation he's rushing with you know as he's hinted through his post as i've stated before that there's going to be some kind of i don't know if you want to call it evidence or how you want to look at it but there's going to be something in there that's really going to put everything in perspective that this is all bad against diddy that he really is this monster we'll have to wait and see when it comes to that now we saw rick ross come out and uh, basically be the only individual I've seen thus far show support of Diddy in this situation that he's going through. That's another thing to think about. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Comment if you've seen other individuals put it out there that they're rocking with Diddy, that they're supporting him through the situation. I haven't seen it. It kind of feels like it seems like pretty much everyone except for Rose is steering clear of Sean P. Diddy Combs and not wanting any parts of what he's got going on and want, not wanting to stand next to him in solidarity with him or anything like that. Now, we saw what happened with the revolt situation. And, um, you know, when it comes to the blogosphere and uh, the industry, the music industry, fashion, just all the different worlds that Puff Daddy is involved in. A lot of individuals, myself included, are like, yo, is Diddy going to be able to withstand the storm or is this it for Diddy? Will his whole empire and in, in, in career and just everything that he's done crumble around him? Now, in a perfect world, someone, you know, doing the or has done the horrible things that, you know, has been alleged uh, that Diddy has done the sick, disturbing stuff. No one would want to fluck with them at all just for those reasons, because they're just a foul, wicked individual. Right. But we know this isn't a perfect world. And a lot of times individuals will overlook things and 
ignore things and, you know, still do business with or rock with or, you know, be in the same mix as someone for different reasons when it comes to business, money or advancing their career, whatever the case may be. But uh, something to take notice of is a couple different companies or brands that are either skincare companies, fashion companies or other things of that nature have ceased their relationship with Diddy via this Empower Global uh, project, which is a marketplace essentially that Diddy put together, I believe, in 2021 to empower and help uplift black owned businesses. And it seems this Empower Global uh, project or e commerce situation that we're referencing here that these companies are stepping away from rocking with Diddy at all that we're talking about here. It seems like it's falling apart because if you go to the platform, from my experience, and you, you know what I'm saying, you want to inquire about the brands like you come to the page and it just has the mission statement and you know what this empower global is all about and you want to push push on and see the different brands that are involved with this e-commerce shop oops we're having trouble like under construction it seems uh reportedly 18 brands or companies stopped Flucking with Diddy is is the reported number, and we're about to go over a couple of the companies that have ceased to rock with them and what their what they had to say about it. Now, this first company we're highlighting here is called House of Takura. I hope I'm saying that correctly. This is what uh, this particular brand had to say. They said this decision was made on the day that Cassie Ventura filed her lawsuit. We take the allegations against Mr. Combs very seriously and find such behavior, behavior abhorrent and intolerable. We believe in victims' rights and support victims in speaking their truth, even against the most powerful people. Um, another company, No One Clothiers. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. It's a fashion company. Again, apologies if I'm butchering the name of the the brand but uh, this guy leonard greer he's um one of the two founders i believe you'll see him pictured in one of the different images popping up on the screen you know what i'm saying and he said uh he, he called it difficult but uh said that exiting the platform was correct while this decision was difficult due to the reverence we once held for Mr. Combs as a leader in business and entertainment, it was clearly the correct choice. Another company, um, Shuri uh, to Suri, I, I believe this is a skincare company. They claimed um, that they were in the process of exiting Empower Global and said, as a woman owned and led company, we do not and will not linger in a gray area about the mistreatment of women. And then there's a, a whole nother company too, you know, that basically said they were already planning on ending their ties with Empower Global saying it hasn't even really uh, helped their sales and it, it, it really wasn't already making sense. And, you know, I guess this expedited that process. So with all this being said, you know, I just kind of wanted to go over this and uh, show how this is just one of the many things I'm sure that Diddy has as far as revenue streams or and business. And you see these brands don't want any part of Diddy. And, um, you know, this is I don't want to like downplay Empower Global, but I'm just saying this is uh, something that I don't want to call it on the back burner, but is something that wouldn't necessarily be right out there um, in the open in terms as uh, what Diddy has going on. You know, you kind of have to dig to find out about certain ventures that artists are involved in. You know, in these companies uh, teaming with Diddy, I don't know the kind of agreement that this empower global had that you know if diddy pushes the brands he gets a percentage of their business or I, I really don't know how it all works 
But uh, these brands want no part of Diddy. They're stepping away, you know, for various reasons. Some of them were companies owned by women, as you heard. Some just said uh, they're taking this serious, you know, uh, in speaking out against individuals with power. And they saw the the suit being filed, filed by Cassie and Diddy settling and they just felt it was the right thing to do to get away from Diddy and again as I referenced in the beginning of this the whole revolt situation um it just to me really puts this all in perspective that Diddy uh is gonna experience the same thing where in in other situations you know where more or less people are just going to look at him as a leper or something you know like a, a diseased individual that they don't want to you know have a relationship or be seen with or known to be a part of anything he's got going on you know like you're all bad and i see this playing out right as i said this is something on an e-commerce platform people saying fuck out of here diddy we ain't rocking with you um i can only feel like in the hip hop world and entertainment world, you know, uh, things that are more illuminated as far as the news cycle and being on front street for the whole world to see. I just kind of feel like things are, are probably going to continue in the trend in the same way. You know what I mean? Or I wonder if, uh, did he like him or not? He's been around a long time and made a lot of money and been successful i wonder if he's gonna try to go in the cut and lurk in the shadows and you know do business uh through other individuals or something like that or be a part of different companies or a different label or or management firm or something like that where he's a a, a silent partner or something like that i don't know but um i don't know i thought this was something to share with y'all the people and I uh, see everyone's take on this. You know, let me know your thoughts about these companies. This e-commerce shop seemingly falling apart. Go check it out yourself, you know. And um, your thoughts on the whole situation, him settling and this 50 Cent documentary. I mean, this could really be the beginning of, of Diddy's downfall. And as I stated in the beginning and have said in other videos, and I'm sure a lot of individuals out there, um, you know, probably thought this themselves, right? Did he um, doing that settlement, paying Cassie, right? Now he's trying to reference it as a shakedown move or something like that. Or I think his attorney did in the beginning when, when this all first hit the news, uh, he paid the money, right? Which we don't know exactly what he paid but it could be double of what she was asking for and um you know ndas and stuff i'm sure were signed as that's routine in settlement situations you know and uh but it still got word to the news and again that's how we've all been talking about this and uh, i wonder who exactly leaked that to the press but it's a good thing right because you can only think of how many situations like this happen, right? But the individual paying the money and trying to make all of this, uh, you know, whatever the allegations are or whatever the situation is, stay on the hush. How many times people with power and money are successful in doing that? You know, it's just food for thought, something to think of. So that's all we got for now. Let's talk in the comments, subscribe, stay tuned for updates. It's coffee, talking music news, sports, current events, life, and much more. And I'm gone, y'all. Peace.